What's happening, you guys? Todd Falcone, another blog post. Okay, this one is uh, on the subject of referrals and maximizing referrals. And I was actually, I had a coaching client the other day, and we were talking about a situation where he had a, um, he had a client he was talking to or a prospect he was talking to who had looked at his business, looked at his product, um, was you know interested but not quite ready. And so he was smart enough to ask for the referral, and he said, well, who do you know? that might want to make some extra money. Who do you know could, that could stand a benefit from this particular product? And he was given a referral of actually, in this case, another real estate agent. Uh, he ended up meeting with the real estate agent and started engaging this person in conversation. This is where our, our, our coaching uh, session ended up happening. And he, had a, he has another meeting scheduled with this real estate agent. And I told him, here's a, here's a, here's a way for you to leverage yourself and work the referral back up the chain. And you can do this through multiple layers of people. So if you get somebody who says no, and you get some, and you ask them for a referral, you go down here to the next person, let's say it's Bob, and Bob says no, but you get another referral from Bob, and Bob gives you Ann, and then now you get down to Ann, for example, and you say, you know, Ann takes a look at the business, and Ann's ready to sign up. Well, instead of just going and signing Ann up, which is great, you got, you got a new person, you ask for a referral, ask for another referral, you now have this situation where you got Ann who's ready to sign up. What I suggested to this guy is this. when you, Go ahead and get Ann all ready to sign up. Get whatever information, her name, her phone number, her address, her social. If you need to choose a password, get her credit card information. Get everything that, I mean, get her essentially signed up, but don't sign her up yet. And then go back to the person that you got the referral from. And instead of just signing the person up, you can go back to that person and say, look, you remember Ann, the person that you gave me uh, to, you know, as a referral to talk to? Well, she's taking a look at the product, she's taking a look at the business, and she's signing up right now. Do you want me to take her or do you want her? In other words, what you can do is you can go through these referrals and then you use the, the leverage there to go back in and leverage those people or you use the fact that somebody, one of the referrals is signing up to get those other people to sign up. I've done this with up to you know five people, referral, 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 and go back down to this fourth or fifth person. This fourth or fifth person is getting ready to sign up. Then I go back up to the person that gave me that referral. I say, Bob, I've got Ann who's ready to get going. Do you want me to take her or do you want her? Oh my gosh, well, I better come in now. Now the person has a reason to come in the business because they're, I mean, they're, they have the potential of losing money and they also have obviously the potential of gaining money if they do sign up. So now I go back to Bob. Now I got Bob and Ann. Well, Bob was given to me by Ron. Now I go back up to Ron. I say, Ron, you remember Bob? Well, yep, yeah, yeah, of course I remember Bob. Well, Bob, I talked to Bob and he wasn't exactly ready yet. And then um, he gave me another referral to Ann. Ann decided she was going to sign up. And Bob said, well, what the heck? I should get in this thing and make sure that I'm you know, taking advantage of, of the possibility of earning income here. So both of them are actually signing up. So before I actually get them signed up, I just wanted to find out, would you, are you ready to get going? Because right now you essentially have two people already in your organization. The key thing here is that you ask, first of all, for a referral. Who do you know? You get a referral from the person. You then go make the contact. Let's say the, the, the referral, uh, I'm talking to Joe. I'm talking to Joe, and Joe gives me Susie. Well, if I call Susie, I'm going to call Susie and say, Hey, Susie, Todd Falcone here. Your good friend Joe recommended that I give you a call. So it's like there's you know the, the openness of the conversation is going to be there because it's that person's good friend or their associate, and they know that person, so I do a little name dropping there. That immediately opens up the conversation to be certainly more open than if it was I just I just called the person out of the blue. So definitely name drop. If somebody gives you a referral, you know if Bob gives you a referral and I'm calling Susie, I'm going to say, hey, uh, Susie, uh, your friend Bob Smith told me to give you a call. Said you're a very sharp person. Said that you might be open minded in, in terms of taking a look at a, a a business outside of what you're currently doing. Oh, absolutely. So she takes a look at it. She goes, oh my God, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. She's ready to sign up. I'm going to get all of her information down when she's getting ready to sign up so I know she's committed, know she's ready to go. But before I put the paperwork in, I'm going to go back up to Bob. I'm going to say, Bob, look, Susie's ready to go. She is signing up right now. Do you want me to take her or would you rather earn the income off of her? So make sure you think about that when you're getting referrals. First of all, you got to ask. Ask and you shall receive. Don't ask, don't get. Remember to ask and you'll get more out of your business and certainly more referrals. We'll see you on another blog post.